we have a special uh, guest online waiting in the call, uh, Paul Montgomery, who is our junior technical designer, and he's actually the one uh, that worked on this gun. Uh, as well as the bow. So if you are here, Paul, hey, uh, how is it going? I hope you are not nervous. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. So let, let's reveal what this new gun is. And uh, this is the Scottville Model 3 revolver. So, uh, Paul, feel free to talk about it. And uh, I will just uh, manage the slides meanwhile for you. Okay. Yeah. So this is our new, new revolver, medium ammo. Uh, obviously a small slot since it's a pistol, uh, but it's the first revolver we've added for a while, so it's quite quite cool to see a new one in. Um, it's a six shot, and it's our first break action revolver, so it has a different reloading mechanism, which is really interesting. Exactly, um, we'll show you that in a few videos uh, in a second as well, so you can see, yeah. but it's super cool. Um, and... So... Uh, could you go next on the uh, yeah, slide? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's compare it a bit to the packs, I guess, which is everyone is uh, asking, yeah, so I guess. Since it's medium ammo, we compare it mostly to the packs. Um, it, in terms of damage, it's slightly less, and the same with rate of fire and its bullet velocity. Um, it's not crazy less, it's just a little bit uh, right now, and we also compare it to the regular conversion, so uh, it's a little bit more damage than the regular conversion and a little bit more velocity than the regular version pistol um but it also has a fast reload speed and um that's its kind of main thing uh, yeah. another another thing that it's uh really good for is that it's unlocked at uh, rank one so it uh it's gonna be a good you know fresh prestige weapon to uh use to start out right with after prestige yeah yeah exactly yeah and obviously this will mean some uh, other uh, weapon rank changes later on but we'll uh, reveal that for you guys as well but not just yet uh, this also includes the packs actually and uh yeah it will uh, it will be 77 dollars when it starts uh, i mean uh, that's the store price of the gun uh and yeah. paul it can also use some custom ammo so can you maybe talk about that a bit yeah sure so um it uses current uh, the same cu uh, custom ammo as some of the ones we already have so it has incendiary and it also has fmj so probably know what those do um already but you know fmj increases the um effective range slightly and it also increases penetration and then incendiary is a fire bullet but it doesn't have any penetration so that's main the main changes for those Exactly, and uh, both of these you will have like six, uh, obviously the six uh, bullets in the chamber and then 12 other. And uh, the full mm -hmm. metal jacket will cost $4,500 and the incendiary will cost 30 uh, and I see a lot of questions already about the reload and if it can use fanning and stuff. So uh, we'll jump into the videos because we have a bunch for this uh, new gun. <laughs> but uh, let's first uh, look at the cool render again. Yeah, so this is a really cool Western style, like a classic Western style looking gun. You could probably see something that looks similar in a lot of Western movies, which is really cool. Exactly, I'm just playing it from more and then we'll have all the reload and the gameplay videos for you guys. The Sabre doesn't come with it. No, it does not. <laughs> yeah, so here's our first gameplay video. Yeah, so this one's just showing it's regular fire without fanning just to confirm it can fan this is without fanning and that uh, you can see the sight on it as well as uh the rate of fire basically and how the reload uh, ejects all the bullets yeah and this is our first uh um, just showing how you can reload all the bullets at once if it's empty uh, which means it's a really fast reload from empty which is a really nice addition compared to the packs which is always one by one uh, I see some questions about dual wielding. Uh, yeah, uh, it's also, yeah, you can also dual wield it. It's a pistol, so we tend to do that. The only real <laughs> exception is the crossbow, but that's not really a pistol. So. As much as people would like uh, dual wield uh, small hand crossbows. Though. Exactly, yeah. I mean, it would be really hard to reload it that way, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And here is the fanning. So yeah, the fanning is just 
slightly slower than the Apex. Uh, it's also a little bit faster than the Uppercut, so it sits in the middle of those two in terms of fanning speed. Um, yeah. The sway doesn't leak too, uh, too bad, or I like the recoil. No, uh, overall, its handling is actually better than the Pax. Um, we kind of thought because it's got this longer barrel and it's a bit heavier, the recoil and the spread and um, sway would be slightly less in terms of handling. So you can expect this to be a little bit more accurate in terms of spread and sway. Awesome. And uh, yeah, let's look at some of the reloads because that's. Uh very specific about this revolver so maybe you can talk us yeah. through how that exactly works then yeah so uh we also just wanted to show off um how part like uh full empty reloads work which we obviously showed here and then we wanted to show what partial reloads look like yeah so these are so the full empty reloads so you can see there it, they only put one in and they still did the empty reload mm -hmm. and they put two in there and they still did the empty Yeah, so how how is the reload speed compared to a PAX, let's say, or an uppercut? Uh, so for the exact numbers, the PAX is around uh, 11 seconds uh, from um, empty, and then this is around 9 seconds from empty, uh, in between 9 and 10. So it's, it's in the stats it says 9, so it's a little bit more than 9. Um, so it's quicker than the PAX, yeah? Yeah. It's, it doesn't sound like a lot, but in, in a battle, that's pretty... Uh, two seconds will save you a lot. So. Yeah. And even so, if you just want to reload just the one bullet, it will be very quick. Yeah, someone in the chat already noticed that um, you don't need to spin the barrel here as long as one bullet is already um, in front of the barrel, right? With other revolvers with an ejector, you have to make sure that um, the the... Um, drum always rotates so you can eject the correct bullet but with this one um, the player has access to all bullets um, i mean we don't allow to skip bullets so you will always see um, used cartridges and then full cartridges obviously um, but then again the reloads are just faster because you don't have to worry about how many are empty how many are full exactly I actually really really like how you, when you open uh, up the uh, the back of the gun, you can see like which uh, bullets have been used and which not, and then it like it switches out. That is so cool. Yeah, we we wanted to make sure that it was obvious why you were pulling some out and one, why he weren't pulling some out. So, and also that's what the bullets would look like since the hammer hit the uh, primer. So I'm asking about bullet grabber. You don't need bullet grabber because uh, you don't lose the bullets. No, exactly. Yeah. We, we did uh, um, think about maybe having it so that it always just ejected all the rounds and maybe somehow adding bullet rubber, but we thought that was a bit too harsh for a pistol uh, revolver like this, especially level one. This is much nicer and it's just it looks better as well, honestly. <laughs> yeah, we also have other videos of the partial reloads here. Yeah. I mean, you guys can also spend half an hour on test server trying yeah. all, all the permutations. Just try not to break it, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, they they should try to break it. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But let us know. Yeah. Yeah, I really love that you can see which one has been used. That's so cool. And yeah, there's a last one for variation of the partial reloads here as well. Yeah, for yeah. this one, I, I can already see people dying and then complaining that they looked at the animation instead of what's in front of them as an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I saw a question asking, like, uh, when you use, like, some bullets, will it, like, it, will, will it exactly be in the same spot all the time, or will it actually be the bullet that he used in the... Better? Yeah, so, so it, sh it yeah. should be accurate. It should be uh, the one that you just used is to the right of the top one. Mm -hmm. uh, when you open it and if you uh, manage to reload before the preparation happens before he charges the hammer uh, during the uh, reload animation he will actually charge the hammer to make sure that it's in the spot as well that's really cool yeah guys uh, so as mentioned uh, when it comes to tester try to bake it or not try to bake it i i guess <laughs> it's up to you <laughs> uh but yeah uh paul will be online and on a hold with us uh, uh for the duration on the stream because obviously at the end we will have a q a question and uh he will also be monitoring if you guys have any questions about the gun or any topics 
he's an expert on like the bows uh for example <laughs> so uh, uh, so just, just uh one more thing to add is because we didn't actually show off the dual wield there but um the dual wield reload works similar to um the packs in terms that he just the, the hunter just brings it down to the left and kind of does it out of sight so that we could get the gun reloaded as soon as possible um but also in that terms ambidextrous does also work for the, the gun um it's not actually in the video but it does it, it speeds up the uh animation um and then there's a really cool animation for when uh the gun both guns are empty uh the, the hunter will flick both of the gun, guns open and all the bullets will fly out oh, uh, we don't have a video for that but we should have done <laughs> so check that out on the uh, test server yeah we didn't really think of the dual <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, thank you, chat, and uh, thank you, Paul. That was really cool. Uh, so just please uh, stay on the line in case you see any questions, and uh, yep. we can answer them at here. the end. Awesome. Thank you again. Uh, so uh, I hope you guys are uh, loving the new weapon. Uh, we haven't had a new weapon for a while, so I mean, okay, we actually had two last update, but before that, we haven't had like a new gun, let's say. So uh, I hope you, you guys are loving this addition, and I actually know that a lot of you have been asking for that on social because obviously we are looking at that all the time so i'm sure you guys are quite happy but uh this is not only uh new weapons we added with this update 